Welcome to Evanston, Illinois. Ryan Field and home to the Northwestern Wildcats where it will be a sea of purple as the fans are more than ready for this one. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see, the Wisconsin Badgers taking on the Northwestern Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Northwestern has the kickoff team on the field as we are about ready to start. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Wisconsin Badgers offense will take the first swing of the game. This has an old-school feel to it as this running back makes his way onto the field, and all eyes are fixed. They are glued on him. Yeah, the old school, because nowadays it's usually quarterbacks and the other guys that get all the attention, but this guy's so good. He is the focal point. He's the guy everybody's looking to. He's the tone setter. He's the physical bell cow for this team. He will get the rock early and often. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. From the gun, running back on the move. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. They'll need three yards here on third down to keep this opening drive alive. Looking to throw, it's Van Dyke. He looks that one in nicely. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. The Badgers getting set on first and ten. He's going to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Pauling. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Nice patience by the quarterback here working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. That last completion has him set up second and short. They'll run it from the gun. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Sort of getting in touch with their inner James White, Melvin Gordon, or Jonathan Taylor to pick up another first down. I mean, it's just crazy the list of guys they've had play here in the Wisconsin tradition, and it continues, right? Everybody who's here, you're going to be featured. You're going to get touches. So, hey, recruits, you want to you carry the football a lot? Come to Wisconsin. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. The seventh play of this opening drive, they'll need to move the chains on third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. Well, it's a really nice job of the offense mixing it up on this drive. We've seen some nice plays throwing it, and how about that one running it, too? Great push up front. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Here's the handoff. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up.
Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. They'll give it to the back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. I think throughout the week in practice, when they were game planning their opening script, I don't even know if they envisioned it going as well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance, really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game is working to perfection. Takes the handoff. It's Malusi. Defense there to stop him after he picked up a yard. Ball's at the 17. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll pull it on the read. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. And that's what I love about the QB run game in this offense is it just keeps these defenses off balance. We're going to see a lot of running backs doing their work between the tackles in this game as well. But you see how mixing in the quarterback run, too, it just keeps this defense so confused. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. And the Badgers get enough to move the chain. And this offense has really gotten to a nice rhythm here on their opening drive of the game. Running the ball, getting it down now into a goal-to-go situation. They really have established a bit of a physicality here early. Let's see if they can keep that up. The Badgers will try to punch it in on first and goal. He caught it! That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. Handoff to the single running back. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Man, did he show some hops for that one some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they finished it off with the score from the four. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? And the returner is stopped. So Northwestern's offense has the ball for the first time. This matchup on the outside, Jesse, a big play weapon for the offense, a shutdown corner for the D. They say big time players make big plays in big games. So who gets the best of this matchup? That's going to determine the game. I mean, such a fun chess match. How much are they on each other during the game? The head to head matchup that everybody wants to see. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Northwestern right back to the line. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Quick pass on the jet motion. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He's got it. He'll get it out to the 25, not bothered at all being backed up, and they've got a first down. Big third down there for the quarterback, and he knew where his best chance was at getting that first. He found the curl route. 
made an accurate throw, and as a result, the offense stays on the field. Northwestern comes to the line with a fresh set of downs. Leaves it with the running back. At the 35, he's open. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. The Wildcats are on the move. Wants to throw on first down. Just not quite able to make the connection. It's incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Wide open downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously, you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, the ground game. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. Northwestern wants to go quickly. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? They'll play it safe and try for three. He's going to have to get into this one a little bit from 47 yards away. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up. Oh, it's loose! Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. That looks like a really easy thing to do. Oh, the ball's just on the ground. Jump on it. That's an odd shaped ball that bounces all kind of crazy ways. Great job on the defense covering that thing up. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. Trying to find his man on first down. With the catch, it's Porter. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. 
I like the running back there on the route. The patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender. He was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. Down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. He wants to throw. Got it! So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. Trying to pound it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Wildcats. Up and over. Yam will be there into the end zone. And, and you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10 to 7. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it into points. Jesse, that is not a recipe for success. Good news, though, they get another chance, right? They could make amends with this drive right here. That's all that's important. You've got to execute, and you've got to lock in. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking to pass, it's Van Dyke. Just a short pass to the tight end. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Running back searching for a hole. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Line is set on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one. Play. And the Badgers are moving quickly down the field. It's a draw. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They try to go draw, but there's just way too much penetration in the middle of the offensive line, and that the offense has a negative play. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. From the gun, running back gets to give. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. 
Looking to throw, it's Van Dyke. Looking to the big tight end. He's got an open man. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as they get him down at the 37. That's really got to make this offensive coordinator feel good calling plays. You get a completion on third down early in the game, and he should be having a lot of confidence now moving forward in this game calling plays. The Badgers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Well, the QB looked like he knew where he wanted to go with that football, but give the defense credit, they were able to swap that one away. Now second and ten. Power football with the run. And it'll be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Snap it to the back. Keeps the legs moving. Able to make his way past the sticks for the first down, and the time is going to drain out here in the first quarter. Guys, we've come to the end of the period, and Northwestern has the lead here. We've played one. Before we move on, let's have a look at the stats. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. Gets it out fast. Hey, listen, as a receiver, you're running that hitch route against man coverage. You can't loaf on it, right? I know it's just a little short throw, but you've got to make the defender think you might be going deep. So a nice job not just taking it easy on the play. He put his foot in the ground, he drove back to the ball and made it easy on his quarterback. And the Badgers have taken it inside the 20. On the move, it's Malusi. Tackled, but he has a first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. The Badgers have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Now on second and goal. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. This has been really good for the defense, too. It's kind of a bend-don't-break mentality, right? Really bowing up with your backs against the wall. If you can win this next third down, try to force the opponent into a field goal, that's a win if you're on defense. After a drive this long, a field goal would be a punch in the gut. It's third and goal. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Badgers! And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game day. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. So the 16 play drive, and the score comes on a five yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Wildcats have it back to Northwestern offense, headed out. The inside handoff. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short.
Northwestern right back to the line. On the ground, it's Porter. And the 45 on his way! He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. It's so nice as an offense to know you can generate explosive plays by handing the football off to this guy. He has got incredible speed. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. He's looking to throw it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Nice job getting to the QB there. The best Wisconsin defense has always seemed to have a game breaker and a difference maker. This guy can be that for this unit. But you think back to the Watt brothers, right? TJ, JJ, nobody could block those guys one-on-one, -on -one, and they just ruined coordinators' game plans offensively. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. He's looking to throw. Oh, looked up field too soon and dropped the football, and it'll be third down. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. A third and long coming up here. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He finds his man. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. Northwestern moving the ball expeditiously. They want to run this quarterback. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. You know, this offensive line, they just got to hold their blocks a little bit longer. This offense likes to run their quarterback on design plays. And if you can just give him a little crease, he can take it the distance, but they couldn't get it done there. Quick tempo here for the offense. Out of the gun, the running back has it. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave him a little bit of everything on that one. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. The Wildcats will try to put one on the board on first and goal. They're going to run it. Jumped on top of the pile. Second and goal coming up. Tries again to get it in. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anyway. They'll go jumbo package. Three tight ends set on third and goal. The play action fake. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats! Yeah, I love the little play action fake. It's, you know, you get inside the five, you're thinking run, run as a defense, come up, be physical, and they slip those guys right behind you, throw it over the top of you. Man, those are tough to defend. Nice little play action by this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. They march 78 yards down the field, and they finish it off, needing just a few inches and going up top to get it. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. 
Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. Lining up from the 34 on first down. The give to the back. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Wisconsin's had a long list of great running backs, but those big fellas up front, that's a pipeline to pro football. Unbelievable. Joe Thomas would be proud. Just paving the way, just physical. They always can block the run game so well, and they're going to establish it. Every game Wisconsin plays, they're going to run the football. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Looking downfield, it's Van Dyke. Looking deep. Complete downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. And the Badgers have it with a first and ten. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Chunk it away just as he was hit. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Line getting set on second down. The give to the tailback. He's there to make the stop. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Here they come facing third and long from the 20. From the gun, wants to pass. <gasps> Grabs it in the middle. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Ooh, and that's a nice sigh of relief for the defense too, right? There was a broken tackle. The guy made it look like he was going to pick up the first, but because of great effort defensively, they were able to get the stop, and now they're setting up fourth down. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. It is! And the kick is good, and guys, we have ourselves a tie ball game. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Northwestern offense returns to the field. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working, Dave. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I, I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. To the air on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Gordon. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Quarterback on the keeper. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Really nice job by the defense shutting down all the options. Don't let him get into his reading phase. Go get him right now, play sound, and more importantly, tackle him and get him on the ground. Northwestern wants to go quickly. Now the play fake. Quickly to the tight end. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. I hate being that guy to say, just take a dive, don't take a hit. But when the play is going absolutely nowhere, you might think about it. First, do no harm, right? And you've already been harmed, so just don't make it worse. Don't take those big shots unless you know it's for an important situation. Goal line, third down, touchdown. On second down, wants to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Makes the grab down the middle. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Northwestern will have to punt it away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. They'll run it from the gun. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking for room, it's Malusi. Great to have perfect blocking, but you can also make your own, and that's exactly what he does, getting it up to the 36. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it then? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. He'll do it himself. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. The clock has stopped and we've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. The Badgers decide to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon.
Makes the catch at the 30. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. The Wildcats have it back to Northwestern offense headed out. They'll throw it on first down. And the junior was late on the release, and he threw it behind him. Well, no doubt that's where the quarterback wanted to go with the ball from jump, but better job by the defense forcing the incompletion. Back to the line after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 37. He's looking to throw. He's got him this time. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. He's got his man. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down. And the ball slipped out. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. The more hats you have near the football, the more likely you are to cause a fumble. So many guys with their hands wrapping around guys, the ball's bound to pop out occasionally, and you got to be in the right place at the right time. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Catch in the middle. It's falling. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket the slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. There's a great saying in football. It's not the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Well, my Jimmy's better than your Joe. Ball spotted at the 27. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. Touchdown, Wisconsin! What a catch and run for six. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Northwestern offense returns to the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some mis- Afterburners coming. He's at the 20. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work as well. They say it's still a game of field position, and that last one just flipped this baby. They've got it first and 10 in the red zone. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. 
And it's incomplete as he tried to thread that needle to the back corner of the end zone. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. And that's one he'd like to have back. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. And there's an example of what happens when the quarterback doesn't have a chance to set his feet. The pressure just forced him to have to work off schedule a little bit. And I think because of that, wasn't able to be as accurate as he wanted to be. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Splits the upright, it's good. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Looking for a crease, it's Malusi. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great environment there today in Evanston. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower. And these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Ryan Field. And the Badgers will boot it away to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Wildcats have it back to Northwestern offense, headed out. They'll start this third quarter with a run. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't olay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You got to go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You got to do a better job on the perimeter. It's not going to be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You got to go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked, and they should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. He makes a catch. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. As a play caller, you feel confident throwing this out to the perimeter against zone coverage when you have that kind of timing and chemistry. This quarterback and receiver do. You saw it on that one. Northwestern right back to the line. Looking to go up top on first down. Finds his tight end. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. Going up top on first down. Sends it downfield. 
And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. Great play by the defensive back, showing you his variety of skills. His ability to turn the hips, his speed running downfield, turning his head to locate the football and then swatting it away. You just can't do it better. After the misconnection, it's second down. They want to just keep throwing it. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Now, and that's your goal. Separate man from ball. Try to get your shoulder in there on the catch point and really make give him something to think about. Physically jar that football and knock it out. Nice job by the defender. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. I really like the slot receiver, and I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes. He can run double moves. He does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. Northwestern will send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. From the gun, the running back has it. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Rides to the back. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. I think Jesse and Reese could call offensive plays for any team if they're having this much success on the ground. It starts with the ground game, right? Like, you can chew up these kind of plays. Then I can play action later on and take shots. But right now, defense has first got to stop the run game that's been chewing them up. They go to the ground. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. The Badgers with the first and 10. To the air, it's Van Dyke. Fires to the wideout. Find space on the right. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. He's going to pass. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Well, give the defense credit because they're forcing this quarterback to throw into very small windows under duress. And here comes the offense on second down. Going to run it. It's Malusi. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23, and this D would love to force a field goal try. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking for the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Badger! Man, that is so good. There's not a lot of room to work over there on the sideline in the end zone, but he was able to control his body, catch the football, make sure he had a foot down inbounds. It doesn't get any better than that. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. 
And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Bringing it out. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They moved the chains. They marked it at the 29. That looks like a real simple play by the wide receiver, but give him a ton of credit. That was an excellent route. He never telegraphed that he was breaking to the outside. Kept his eyes downfield, so when he cuts, he's able to get maximum separation from the defender, and that's why that play is successful. He'll come out throwing on first down. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Northwestern wants to go quickly. They'll throw it on first down. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Yeah, and listen, it's one thing to miss a receiver that you go, oh, that was open, that's the right place to throw the football, but he sailed that one, but he was thrown into double coverage. you got to make better decisions than that. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. They keep attacking through the air. They've got the screen set up. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. Third down play from the gun. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Northwestern will have to punt it away. Maybe one notch of adrenaline too much on the punt there. It hits about a yard deep in the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Hand off from the gun. Found a little bit of running room. Knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He'll pull it on the read. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. As a defensive guy now, you're always zoomed in on the quarterback. I mean, these guys, they're, whether they're throwing the football or running it, at least they have the football in their hands every time. You know where they're going to be. You focus in. The defense locked and loaded. Understand what they were trying to accomplish. Doing a good job getting to the quarterback. And then make those physical hits count. Finish those, finish those tackles with aggressive hits. Make that quarterback feel you for a whole length of a game. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. And the Badgers will line it up on first and ten. Feeling some heat. And the pressure was in his grill in an eyelash. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. 
Back to throw. It's Van Dyke. Gets open down the middle. And they swarm him under. This is a receiver who's so dangerous once he has the football in his hands. That's a simple slant pass, but after he catches it, he's able to work in the middle of the field, finds the open green, and get the first down. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. They'll try to get the first through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's Anthony. And he's not down, but not before moving the chains. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. The Badgers are on the move. They'll run it from the gun. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. He wants to throw here on second down. And the pass is incomplete. Jarred loose by the hit. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later. And you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Grabbed in the middle. It's falling. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Give to the back. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Quick completion on the out. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Throws to the back. Snags it. And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. And a great job by the QB finding the running back, getting the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. And the Badgers have it in scoring position on first and goal. Quarterback on the keeper. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. It doesn't matter what run play you have called if you're running it inside or outside. If the defense gets penetration, everything is done. And you saw it on that play right there. Great job by the dude. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Trying to barge in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Wisconsin. This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. They'll try to add another to their lead.
And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They're just about ready to kick it away. Returner will field it and try to get some field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Northwestern offense returns to the field. Trying to start the drive with a pass. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Fast motion from the offense. He's back to throw on second down. Gets it out quickly. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. This quarterback has been really good today. Has been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. Northwestern right back to the line. They'll try the run. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run, not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Might as well stick with him. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. Northwestern will send out the punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Now on second down. Looking for a man. It's Van Dyke. And the defense gets to the quarterback. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers. But man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody in the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. The Badgers will punt it away on fourth down. 
This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. First down for this offense. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And brought down, looks as if that's how we'll end the third. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Pressure coming. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. He's looking downfield to throw. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. When you got third and this long, everybody knows what's coming. It's going to be a pass. Defensive linemen get to tee off. They know exactly what's coming. Go get the quarterback. It is your dream. That is what you live for. It's what you practice in the offseason for. I want sacks just like that. Northwestern will have to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. They move the tight end all over. Out of the gun to give to the back. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Coming after him. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. The gift to the back. Breaks the tackle. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. And the Badgers will punt this one away. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Fires to the big fella. What a tough-minded, hard-edged run. He gets it to the 24. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The Wildcats have it back. The Northwestern offense headed out. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. And the Wildcats are in the hurry up. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Man, I do not want a guy to advance. I want square shoulders to the line of scrimmage, take the snap, secure the football, play physical, and fall forward. Nice job by that running back getting the first down. Maybe this will breathe the little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. He wants to throw. Makes his connection. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a bigger gain. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. They get to the line quickly. He'll keep it himself. Picks up the first down, still moving. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. How great is it to be an offensive coordinator having a quarterback like this? Because he can go and generate first downs with you, throwing the ball and running the ball. It seems like there's nothing this kid can't do. And the Wildcats are moving quickly down the field. Smashes through. Quick completion to the right. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it's still a positive game. This offense has a second down play. On the run, it's Porter fighting off the defender. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great running backs consistently make people miss. And he did a really good job of breaking one tackle, but he couldn't do it to the next and to the next and to the next. The offensive line going to have to do a lot better job, giving him some more space so he can get out in the open field and make some plays for this offense. 
They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. And that pass picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. He looked as if he thought he had it all the way, and this junior makes a play. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. You got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense, we're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds, cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. On first and 10 from the 38. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Looking to throw, it's Van Dyke. Throws to the wideout. And that pass is intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. So you're saying there's a chance, Reese. That I know it's not a big chance, but you got the ball back now. Maybe your offense can get hot. You can create some turnovers, maybe get an onside kick. Who knows? I'm saying there's a chance. The Northwestern offense returns to the field. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. Didn't help themselves much on first down. Let's see what they've got on second down from the 20. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wide out. Complete to the left. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Great job by the offense, being patient, understanding when they're in zone coverage, I got to hit those tight windows, make those precise passes to get those big plays. Northwestern wants to go quickly. Red pass, it's complete. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rallying to the football? Up tempo for the offense. give to the running back that's what you expect from a senior don't give them any extra yards great tackle there third and long from the 42 if they can get some of it it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down 
from the gun, wants to pass. He's got his man. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Comes out throwing on first down. Not able to hook up there, incomplete. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Looking to throw on second down. Finds his man. It's Morales. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. They're going to throw it again. Quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. A really nice day from this quarterback. Over 350 yards passing now, Jess. He's had a plan all game long. He just seems to find his best matchups, and he's done an awesome job giving his guys opportunities to make plays. Wants to throw on first down. Fires to the middle. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Morales. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Northwestern right back to the line. Looking to pass on second down. Fires into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. They'll try to get it through the air. Going for six. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. On that third down, they took a shot in the end zone, just couldn't connect. QB and receiver not on the same page, and now it's decision time if you're the head coach on fourth. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Trying to get to it. They got him! It's a sack, and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on down. And I get it. This That's for pride's sake. This game's over. Like, I know you're, you're down and you try to mount drives and sometimes you even try to get young guys in the game at this point. But now you're just fighting for pride and just letting them try not to get any more points on the scoreboard. Line gets set. First down. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. They'll go to the counter. 
to the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell, gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. Ready to fire from the pistol. <laughs> 